Magpie is a great fan of ancient artefacts, so when she found out that there was a connection between a hill in Hampshire and the tomb of the famous Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun, it was a cue for another trip into the English countryside. Beacon Hill lies a few miles south of Newbury, next to the busy A34. From the car park at the bottom, visitors can access the hill through a gate, which leads to a steep and quite slippery path crossed with treacherous tree roots. If you visit the hill in all but the driest weather, good footwear is highly recommended, and unfortunately this path is not accessible to wheelchair users. There are many hills in Britain known as Beacon Hill due to their use as sites for the firing of beacons at times of national celebration or even danger. Many of these hills have been in use for thousands of years, not just as beacons, but as safe, fortified places for ancient communities from the Bronze and Iron Ages. Beacon Hill in Hampshire is no exception, and as you climb up the hill you get your first sight of the ancient Bronze and Iron Age hill fort which sits atop the hill and whose ramparts are still clearly defined. It's estimated that up to 2,000 people could have lived in this enclosure at any one time. Archaeological surveys have revealed that huts, stores, pits and roundhouses all existed within these earthwork walls. The excellent views of the surrounding countryside would make it very hard for an enemy to catch the residents by surprise, and the palisade atop the ramparts would provide an excellent space for keeping animals and even growing crops. Beacon Hill has one more surprise in store, however. Nestled at one end of the compound is this grave, the last resting place of George Herbert, the fifth Earl of Carnarvon. The story of Lord Carnarvon's life and death is an extraordinary one, because it was he that funded the exploration and archaeological digs that finally uncovered the lost tomb of Tutankhamun. Between 1914 and 1922, Carnarvon used his family fortune to fund exploratory digs in the Valley of the Kings, conducted by the famous Egyptologist Howard Carter. Both men were convinced that the burial place of the young pharaoh still lay undiscovered somewhere in the valley. In November 1922, Carter was able to send a telegram to England announcing that he had discovered what he thought was the tomb. Lord Carnarvon wasted no time sailing to Egypt, and in December, Carter and Carnarvon were the first people to enter the tomb in more than 3,000 years. The tomb was full of treasures, including the famous death mask of the young pharaoh himself, as well as thousands of artefacts associated with royal burials. Newspapers of the time hailed the find as a major achievement, and public interest was enormous. Just three months after entering the tomb, however, Carnarvon was bitten by a mosquito while staying in Cairo. The bite became infected and he died of sepsis three weeks later at the age of just 57. After his death, Lady Carnarvon brought his body back to England, where it was buried appropriately enough for someone with such a strong interest in archaeology within the ramparts of the ancient hill fort near his ancestral home. Visitors to Beacon Hill can look out from the top of the hill towards the Carnarvon family seat, the magnificent stately home of Highclere Castle, itself famous as the location for the TV series Downton Abbey. If you've enjoyed this video, why not like and subscribe below to get more stories and ideas about travelling off the beaten track.